Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Patricia Morgan with the U.S. Army Band Pershing Zone, and today we're going to be talking about swabbing out your bassoon and packing it away. So the very first thing you want to do is take your reed off of the vocal and place it safely in your reed case. We want to prevent any bumps. Next, you're going to take off your bocal. You want to support the bocal with your hand as you're removing it. You don't want to pull on this part. You can hold your bassoon in your left hand to keep it stable. And you just twist gently back and forth. And then you're going to blow the water out of the bocal. Next, you're going to want to remove the bell. The bell does not need to be swabbed, as hopefully no moisture has made it up to this high on the instrument after you've played. So sometimes the uh, wood can swell and it becomes difficult to get the pieces to come apart. So in cases like that, you want to hold the instrument, keep it nice and stable. You want to wrap your hand around so that you're not crushing any of the keys. Try to just handle it on the wood and you can rock it back and forth gently while pulling up and it should come out of uh, its connection just a little more easily. And now you want to place it into the case in the proper spot. Next, you might have some sort of connection that holds these two joints together. This is your long joint and your wing joint and there might be a little metal connector. You want to remove that or unlatch that and then put that away in a safe place. And then next, you're going to take apart the long joint. Now the long joint also doesn't need to be swabbed since hopefully water has not made it up this far in the instrument. It should have collected at the bottom of the horn. So again, you're gonna to wanna to grasp the instrument on the wood, not on the keys, and gently rock back and forth while pulling out and it should work its way out of its connection. And then you're going to carefully place it in the case. Notice that this end of the long joint is wider than this one. So you wanna make sure it lines up properly in the case. And now you have the wing joint and the boot joint remaining. I will remove my crutch and set that aside and then I will take apart the wing joint and the boot joint. Again, I'm trying my best to grip just on the wood, not on the keys, we don't wanna bend them. And I'm going to just gently twist back and forth. And right now, I'm going to set the wing joint down in the case temporarily while I begin to swab the boot joint. Now with the boot joint, we have two openings, as you can see, one's wider than the other. We want to hold the boot joint and lean it towards the smaller end. And then we're going to tip it towards that smaller end and dump out any water that may have collected. You want it to only go towards the smaller side because the smaller side is lined. This side is only wood. And the reason we don't want water coming down this side is that it can cause wood rot and it can permanently damage the instrument. So after we've gotten the moisture right out of uh, this side and collected at the bottom of the, the U, we're going to take our swab with a weight and we're going to drop it down the wider side of the boot joint. You heard a little click when it hit the bottom. It's a metal weight. So now I know it's at the bottom of the instrument. Now I'm gonna lean it on its side and the weight should fall to the other side of the U-tube. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of a push through and it should come out the smaller side. And then I'll pull it so it does the little U-turn at the bottom and it will swab out the inside of the instrument. 
Now I'm going to also carefully place this back into the case. And then finally, I'll swab out my wing joint. Now with this one, I use a slightly different swab with a less round weight. It's a silk swab, and this one is a little easier to get through the smaller size of the wing joint. I'm going to drop the weighted weight of the swab down the larger opening of the wing joint, not through the top here. We're trying to catch as much water as we can. So we'll place it in the end of the wing joint, and then we're going to gently pull through the other side. Now, if I feel any resistance at all, I'm going to stop immediately, and I'm going to pull back out this side. There could be a knot in the swab, and we don't want to damage the instrument by trying to pull it through. But right now, I don't feel any resistance, so I'm going to pull it all the way through, and that will clean out the wing joint um, and make it so that we won't have water collecting in the keys as I pack it away. And that's it. That is swabbing out your instrument. Now you need to be extra careful when you're, uh, after you've packed up your instrument to make sure that you're not leaving it in direct sunlight near a heat source or in a draft. And you wanna make sure it's in a secure place, either in a locker at school um, or in a room where it won't get uh, accidentally knocked over. So that's it. That's how you swab out your bassoon and you pack it away. Now if you're closing your case and you notice that it doesn't want to close, it might be that something's just in the way of the zipper. You don't want to force it. Reopen your case and make sure all of your pieces are in their proper spots and nothing is sticking out. Oh, and don't forget your seat strap.